Hi YouTube, it's me Leo Ryan. As promised, my brother and I are going to make a video, a uh, comparison video of a Glary ST3 guitar and a Fender Squire Strat, which is sitting over there, which are very similar, but not exactly uh, the same in appearance. Now, by the way, this is my brother Dan. Say hi, Dan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did a test with a piece of newspaper running down the fretboard. This fretboard on this Glary ST3 is kind of dangerous actually. It did tear the newspaper right in half. And we will be dressing up that fretboard before we get too deep into this video. However, I wanted to let you know what our intentions are and we'll be back in just a few minutes. Thank you. Hey everybody, this is Dan Ryan. This is the Glary ST3 strap copy and uh, this guitar cost us $57 um, as Leo mentioned earlier the main problem with the guitar when we took it out of the box literally a cardboard box was that the dressing on the frets was not just not very good it could have been dangerous if they were that sharp both on the top and the bottom sides of the neck We've gone ahead and dressed the frets uh, just so I don't hurt myself while I'm doing the rest of this. And what we're going to do is compare this guitar with this Squire Strat copy that's about 12, 13 years old. We're not exactly sure. Um, just to compare the build and the sound. First thing I got to tell you about this Larry is that for a 50 something dollar guitar, it's uh, amazingly good. First guitar I got uh, was uh, a guitar from Western, Art Western Auto that my mom bought with me when I was 11 years old. It cost $17. That was in like $1962, dollars $63. So $57 and $2019 is probably not that far off. So, and this is a hell of a lot more guitar than my, than my first guitar for similar money. <clears throat> so what, what we're going to do before we do anything else is just compare the sounds of the guitars. I've just set up a, a clean sound with a, it's basically flat with a tiny bit of reverb because I don't like dry sounding guitars. And I'm just going to play the same riff over and over in the different pick up position so you can hear what this one sounds like and then what the, str the Squire Strat sounds like. So here's the glary and here we go. <laughs> of this Squire Strat, I just wanted to tell you a couple things uh, that um, we've tried to make this as close to even as possible. So both of these guitars have been set up uh, just in the past few days by the same uh, person I use. Uh, both of them are using uh, Diodario XO 110 strings, which is uh, what I've used for 40 years or so. <coughs> um, I've got my, as my brother calls it, hillbilly guitar strap, which is certainly better than no guitar strap, but not the most comfortable one I've ever used. Um, well, like I said, who is the guy that's been playing for over 50 years and forgot his guitar strap? 
You know, that was just as funny the second time. <laughs> Beware a person who laughs at his own jokes. Okay, so here we are with the Squire Strat copy. First thing I gotta tell you is that one of the reasons that this guitar strap is so uncomfortable for this guitar is because it weighs about twice as much as the Glary. Uh, everything about it is much more heavy duty than the Glary. Um, it also costs, in current dollars, somewhere uh, from eight to nine times what the Glary costs. So, you can take that into account. We got this because it's 12, 13 years old for considerably less than a, you would buy it for new, but there's essentially no wear on this guitar. I mean, it, from the terms of how it looks and playability, and everything, it is new. Anyway, so same test that we did on the Glary. A little lick that we're going to do, starting with the Neck pickup. <laughs> between these two guitars. Um, they're obviously both uh, sunburst on the front. The Squire, this one, the sunburst is a little more orange than this. This is a little closer to the tobacco sunburst. Um, the, sorry about that. The pick guards are similar. Again, this one is a little more brilliant than the one, the glary. Everything else looks pretty much the same. The knobs, very similar. Uh, these knobs are a little bit more heavy duty. This bridge is a, quite a bit more heavy duty than the glary, but appearance wise and function wise, they're very, very similar. Uh, the backs are a little more different. This has a sunburst back and the plate on the back covering the trim uh, is the same as the uh, pick card. This just has a white plate and a plain black back. Again, the hardware is not anywhere near as heavy duty. You can't see this, but I'm looking at this plate and this plate where the neck bolts on. This one is approximately three times as thick as this one. Um, so. Again, the, the Squire is just a lot more heavy duty in terms of its construction than the Glary. Playing wise, they play pretty equally, you know, because I've had them set up that way for one thing. But there are no, uh, now that we've uh, trip, uh, dressed the frets on the, on the Glary, they play very similarly. Um, and uh, I don't really have any complaints about the playability of either one of these. Um, as I was telling my brother, this one I would take to a gig, and I wouldn't really have too many concerns about it. This one I would take to a gig as long as I had this one along with it. Uh, this really is not a professional level instrument, but it's a really, really good uh, entry level instrument for somebody who's just learning how to play guitar or even somebody who's played for a while and wants an electric and uh, wants a Strat sound. You know, they both sound pretty much like Strats. The pickup set, the way they're set up, um, 
when I play my guitars, I tend, I tend to just run the volume and tone wide open. I have a lot of control on my amp foot pedal, so uh, I don't like to mess around with it too much because I'd rather get the sound out of the amp than have to be searching for it in the middle of a gig, especially if it's not the same guitar that I always play. So anyway, that's just the cosmetic comparison between the two guitars. Uh, now we'll go on to the next thing. Okay, we're going to do a little comparison of uh, a slightly distorted sound between the, the Squire, which is what I got here, and the Glurry in a minute. Um, I don't like too much distortion, but I do like to have enough so that you get a nice sustain. I like that. A little echo. Uh, this is a patch I made up myself. I call it Larry-ish because Larry Carlton is one of my favorite guitarists and this is kind of close to his sound, I think. I'm using a little Squire, uh, sorry, Spider, Line 6 Spider 4 amplifier, and the foot pedal goes with it. So, the clean sound and this sound are coming out of the Spider. And uh, here's a Larry Carlton version of Sleepwalk. Same song, same amount of time, same patch on the end. 